Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing my crafty birthday haul. I just thought it would be fun to share with you guys what I got for my birthday that is crafty related. I did film um, a planner version of this, so if you're interested in that you can check out my main channel which is linked down below, which is the Paper Llama. And yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get to it because my husband went a little bit overboard. Uh, so first I have these three paper pads and if you've been watching my channel you may know that I am on a very strict no paper purchasing for the rest of the year um, but obviously I didn't know that he was going to get these for me so I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna get mad at him for buying me paper when he didn't know I didn't need more paper well I mean he knows I don't need more paper but it's fine. <laughs> This is Harvest Meadow. This is so pretty. I'm not gonna do like a full flip through, but I'll show you guys some of the papers so you can get like a gist of it. It's very fall and I love it. I love it. My favorite season. I'm gonna try and throw stuff over here. So it's not in the way. This is Summer Road Trip. And it's road trip themed um my husband did end up surprising me with a trip to um Kalahari Resorts in Pennsylvania and we stayed there for a few days and he got me some stuff to scrapbook it this one is lunchbox friends this is just so stinking cute. Look at the bananas. I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. My lighting is not great as usual, but we're working with what we got on this page. It's so cute. I feel really exhausted right now because my office is very warm. Like, I'm about to air myself with this paper pad. It's hot in here. Blueberries. Look at the eggs. So cute. It's adorable. There is more paper in here, but I'm just going to grab things as I see them because otherwise it's a little overwhelming. So I'm just going to go with it. Just going to go with it. Okay. Um, he got me these erasers. And he gave me the rest of the tissue paper that he used to wrap my presents, which if you're a crafter, like that's, that's some smart thinking. That's a good choice right there. I got some uh, wax seals. So he got me the R because our last name is Ramirez. And then he got me the L for llama and the PL it's like they're connected I don't know if that's supposed to be a PL or it's just a P or if it's a Q I don't know but to me it looks like a PL and to him it looked like a PL it's probably a Q or something uh so I'm gonna go with PL for paper llama so I got those which is really nice because I was right now well as of before my birthday, I only had three or two, sorry, two different designs to choose from. One was an, one is an R, I think. And one is a pentacle or yeah, pentacle. So, uh, it's nice to have more options. He got me a little owl, a little owl punch. And let's see, some of the stuff in here is from uh, my mom and my sister. Uh, one, Either my mom or my sister got me this, I can't remember which. Um, but it's really cute. It's all uh, Van Gogh paintings, but they're like, they're stickers. It's adorable. And it comes with, I think like three or four little strips. My mom got me this. 
wax seal set and it comes with six different seals so there's a, like a rose on that one there's like a mountain scape and some stars and stuff in that one uh, a little filigree heart let me zoom you in it's a little far maybe a filigree heart a bee look how cute the bee is a sunflower and a tree of life they're super cute and I'm really happy to have more options And then uh, my mom and my sister, I think my sister got me these and my mom got me these. So these are like vellum stickers, I think. They're called wow bar stickers. <laughs> um, I think they might all be the same pattern. I'm not sure. Let's take a peek. Yeah, they're all the same patterns, which is fine. Um, and are they vellum? They are. They're see, they're vellum stickers, which is super cool because then you put them on things and you can see through them. And I love when you can see through things. I love layers. So there's that one and that one. These are two different uh, Monets, like two different versions of like Monet paintings. Sorry, I can't, I'm not even showing it to you correctly. And then my sister got me this pack, which I'll just show you the back. These are also vellum stickers. And they're like celestial themed. I <laughs> love them so much. And then uh, some more Monet stickers. I think she got me all of the versions. And then... These are just like sticker flakes with, are these like a specific, no, they just says vintage paintings. So they're just different shaped sticker flakes of bits of painting, which is cool. Uh, another one of these uh, like sticker strip things and these ones are Monet uh, my sister accidentally got me um, two of the same ones because she got me one that came in a pack of two and then she bought me one by itself and she didn't realize they were the same thing but they are but I am not complaining because I am perfectly fine with having extras of that uh, and then she got me this Van Gogh washi tape which is so funny because my mom and my sister didn't even coordinate on what they were gonna get me and they pretty much got like the things that they got me are like the same vibe like very similar stuff I just think it's funny but Got some Van Gogh washi tape. Uh, let's see. Oh no, these ones got squashed. So this is the other pack that my sister got me. Um, these have like gold foil. These are also, I think these are also vellum. They have foil on them. And they're like kind of celestial themed, also kind of plant themed. And they're really cool. Uh, I think there's some more stuff in there from them, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys this right now. My husband got me the Beauty of Horror um, tarot deck. Like this is, There's two versions. There's one that's an already colored in tarot deck. And there's this one where you color it in yourself. And he got me both of them. And I'm so stinking excited. Um, so 
This is by Alan Robert. He's the one that makes the um, Beauty of Horror coloring books. So has the tarot guidebook there and then there's the back of the cards and then there's the deck. Oh my god. It smells so good. It smells like It smells like uh, my yearbooks, my high school yearbooks. <laughs> it's really weird, but you know that like new kind of plasticky, papery smell? That's what it smells like. So these are really freaking cool. They're pretty big, but I mean, tarot cards are usually pretty big. They're not too big for me. Like I can still get my fingers around them, which is great. I appreciate that. Um, it's kind of funny though, because the, the ones that you color yourself, like these ones, are a lot bigger than the ones that come already colored. They're different sizes, which I didn't, I kind of just automatically assumed they would be the same size, just these ones you would color in, but apparently not. I mean, I guess it makes a little bit more sense for the ones that you color yourself to be bigger, but I don't know, I just thought it was kind of funny. But I was so excited about those. I cannot wait to start coloring them. Speak of the devil, my husband is texting me. Uh, let's see. He got me this. I'm trying to move stuff out of the way. I'm just like, I'm going to run out of desk space. I'm also going to run out of battery on my camera. He got me this Coast to Coast 48 Regional Scenes to Color uh, by Cynthia Silvery, the passionate colorist. And it's really cool. It's just a bunch of. Mostly like naturey and vacationy types of images. <laughs> oh, that cow is cute, adorable. Let's see. He also he also got me this this magazine. I'm pretty sure he probably got this from Barnes and Noble, but so like Barnes and Noble sells the magazines that come with different like things like physical things in them and he got me this one and it's so freaking cute and it comes with a recipe to make a unicorn shake and I think that's adorable and I really want to make it and this one came with a few things it also came with a squishy rainbow unicorn horn pen all right so I'm not exactly sure what I was saying because it's the next day uh my ca I think my camera died anyway uh, also, if you hear weird noises, uh, I have both the dogs in here, so they may start getting a little weird. <clears throat> but anyway, it comes with a cute little squishy unicorn horn pen, and it's adorable. It also came with like a puffy sticker and a pat, like a sequins patch or something. And then it's just really cute little activities and things you can make and it reminds me a lot of the American Girl magazines that I used to get um, as a kid and I love it it's so cute <clears throat> the next thing I got is the tarot coloring book by Teresa Reed this is so cool so it's got all of the cards and then it tells you um, what they mean and stuff. It's basically like a giant tarot guide that you're meant to color in. And I think it's super cool. And I really like it and I can't wait to color them all. Okay. Sorry if my energy is a little bit low in this second half. I'm just kind of feeling a little, mm, I don't even know, tired, but also not really tired. And sorry if you can hear my dog's gigantic paws click clacking on the hardwood. Sorry. Uh, this was from my sister. I think it was from her. <clears throat> it's from, uh, it's from, it is like a, it's called Starry Skywashi Tape. 
I don't know. She got everything that she got me on Amazon. So did my mom. But it's really cute. It's just like... Let's see. Where can I open it? Easiest. Whatever. I'm not keeping the box. They're just like celestial washi tapes. And they're really cute. So there's those. And then... These were from my mom. These are Monet message cards. If I can get them open. It's a little finicky. So it comes with um, envelopes. They're like blue envelopes. Then it comes with the little cards. And they're really cute. They're just like, they're just little Monet paintings. And they're blank on the back. I just think these are so cool. I love them. I love them so much. And they're very like, they're like a nice thickness. And so I think these are going to be fun to play with. I have in this box and then I have a whole other box over there <laughs> is I got some diamond painting stuff and I'm super excited because I mean like I need another crafty hobby like I need another hole in my head but I'm so <laughs> so excited to try this just like I already I already sorted out um well not sorted out but I I took all the beads that came in one of them. I opened one of the ones that I got already. And I put all the beads into little baggies so they were more easily accessible. And then those didn't come in the kit. Those I just already have those in here because I separated those already. But I've got like a little brayer for pushing down the beads. There's a bunch of little trays. There's like tons of the pink wax for these doodads. There's some tweezers. There's some like label stickers for all of these little containers. Which is just so awesome. I'm so excited. I can't wait to start sticking these on. Honestly, I feel like I'm going to get a little obsessed though. Because it's like it's sparkly and sticking things down making pretty pictures uh so hopefully I don't know I feel like I'm gonna need to like find a time where I can literally sit there for just a few hours and do nothing else and work on those let's see I did get some actual like diamond paintings that's just like the accessory kit thing uh, I'll show you guys those whenever I get them out of the box there's a lot in this other box so this technically was not a birthday present but I got it um, a couple days ago and I figured I'd just throw it in here anyway um, these are the Prismacolor brush markers and they're awesome so it has a um, a brush tip on one side and like a bullet nib on this side and if you like Prismacolor products or you've been thinking about trying Prismacolor products I would suggest I'm going to try and get this video up as soon as I can uh, go to Michael's because they are clearancing out all of their Prismacolor products um and this set, this is the 48 set. Uh, this retails, I believe, the, on, the, on the um, little tag, it said $300, which would not surprise me at all. Prismacolor is very expensive. $300 for the 48 set. It was clearanced for 60. Now, mine uh, rang up as 70 and my husband, like we were buying a whole bunch of stuff at once and my husband just didn't want to deal with having to wait for them to go back and check the ticket. It, the ticket said 60. 
So I'm sure if he had been more patient, we would have gotten it for 60, but it's not a big deal. Still $70 is a really good deal. Um, the 48 set, the 48 set for the, um, the chisel nib though is like a hundred and something dollars still. It's still clearanced. And I think regular price, those are still like $300. But, um, if you want to get the best deal possible, unless you really don't like brush tip, if you want to get the best deal possible, get the 48 set of the brush tip markers because their, their, their clearance price is about half of what the chisel tip is. And pay attention when they go and get the, when they go and get the actual product from behind the register because if you're not paying attention, I guarantee they're not paying attention and there's a big chance you will get the wrong markers and and if you're not paying attention to the price, you may end up paying double what it's supposed to be. When I went and bought these, it was a whole deal. It was a whole issue <laughs> with the, it was a whole thing. I mean, it's a funny story, but maybe I'll share it uh, if I use these on camera. Because I got a lot of stuff to go through still. But it was kind of a funny story. The, basically the cashier. I had no idea what she was doing and it was kind of funny. Um, I have these stencils that my husband got me. So my husband got me these stencils because the night before my birthday, he like set up a surprise like sip and paint in our bedroom and he set up paint by numbers for us and wine and cheese and he got he didn't know how the paint by numbers were gonna go so he got these and some canvases just in case they didn't work out um so that's why i got those but the paint by numbers that he got me was this tiger and i've started it we started it but oh my gosh <laughs> just this they're so teeny i've never done a paint by numbers before but the little the bits are so teeny tiny it took us like we spent like two hours maybe three hours painting like going between painting and snacking and painting and snacking and uh we both got barely anything done and his painting was like half the size of mine with bigger <laughs> spaces but yeah but this it was so cute <laughs> that's like that top-notch memory right there um but yeah so and he keeps asking me, I'm honestly really surprised. He keeps asking me when we're going to paint together again and finish our paintings. I'm like, whenever you want. But I'm really surprised that he's like initiating that. Okay. So here are the diamond paintings that I got. It, I'm, I think it was like a pack of four that came together. Uh, but they're all Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is the one that I already separated the um, the beads for. So this is the one I'm going to do first. And they, I'm going to try and see if I can show you the picture. It's really blurry and kind of hard to see in person. So it's not going to be that great on camera either, I'm sure. But I'm going to show you those because I haven't like unwrapped these or anything. And I don't want to yet. So I'm just going to try and show you the little picture. And hopefully you can get a gist of what they look like. But I really want to get at least the one that I already opened done by Halloween so that I can use it as a decoration. Let's see here. Um, I'm just going to grab whatever. So I got this little tin. It's so cute. It has a little pen. It's like a little miniature stationery set, a little tiny notebook, two little bow clips, and uh, a sticky notepad. It's so cute. Look how tiny the little sticky notes are. I love this so much. Anything miniature, especially miniature stationery stuff, just <sighs> grabs my soul in another way. Um, they got me, they, my husband got me this um notebook it's got like splatters inside which is really cool and then it's like a sparkly holographic splatter on top of some macarons super cute and he got me a corner punch a 
these are super cool and I can't wait to use them. These are the Koi watercolors, but these are, so it's the Pocket Field sketchbook, but these are like the specialty colors. I don't know. It says 24 colors. I don't know. Is, are, let's see, where does it say? I'm, I'm pretty sure they have another one that's just like basic colors. I don't know. But it ha this one has neons and like pearlescence in it. So let's see if I can get this off. And it does come with like a little travel water brush. And these are like the neon colors. They're flore okay, they're the fluorescent colors. And then these are the pearl colors. So you can see how they're like shiny. I cannot wait to use this. And it's so cute and little. Oh my gosh. This is just this is beautiful and so exciting. And I just I need to use it. My husband little like I said, he went a little overboard. Um, so I really don't know where to start <laughs> using stuff. But yeah, he got me the Ravenclaw journal that I've been seeing for years at Barnes and Noble. It's beautiful. It is just so beautiful. Ooh, what's this in the back? I didn't know there was something in the back. Oh, it's just like a little pamphlet with different stuff you could get. That's cool. It's cool that there's a pocket back there, though. I love this so much and I will I don't know what I'm gonna I'm just gonna savor it just gonna stare at it a uh, couple things of stickers the, this is funny <laughs> when I saw this because he a couple days before my birthday he or maybe like a week before I don't know he sent me a picture he was like he was at Michael's for something but he was like I'm not gonna buy you anything <laughs> like being a butt and he sent me a picture of these <laughs> I guess they were on clearance or something um and he was just teasing me but he actually bought them so that was funny he got me some llama stickers always need some llama stickers The 50 pack of Twistables colored pencils. I am so, so happy because I have been wanting these forever. They are going all over the place, but. They need to chill out though. They're like really all over the place. There we go. Look at all those beautiful colors. I really cannot wait to start using these. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, he actually ended up getting me two of the same thing, probably on accident. Um, he got me a whole bunch of like jungle and safari themed stuff. Um, and he gave me that after we went to the Kalahari resorts um, so that I could scrapbook it. And I guess to him, this kind of looked jungly. Um, it's got an elephant in it and stuff. That's cute. So there's those. Uh, he got me this. This is really cool. It's like color your own washi tape. Which I think is really cool. I don't know about the quality of this. But it's going to be fun. He got me a bunch of these different like specialty crayons. From Crayola so these are glitter crayons metallic neon and pearl they're so cute 
And then we're getting into the jungly stuff. So he got me this pack of washies. that are really cool they have gold is that that's like a copper yeah, it's like a copper foiling but there's one that's like a mermaid a couple like little cheetah like ones this one's like a zebra with cheetah spots on it and then just some other jungly looking ones which I think are so pretty are gonna go back in here so they don't get ruined the only one that throws me off a little bit is the mermaid one because it doesn't really fit the vibe of the rest of them but whatever he got me two of these sticker things sticker things sticker sheets um some jungle ones Two of these wood letters which are really cool probably because the colors these sloth uh, sticky notes page marker things <laughs> some tissue paper like because it's the jungle stuff you know zebra cheetah -y. I don't understand the mix of the patterns but it's okay I like it Ooh, I am knocking stuff over. Oh, I have more stuff in here. Oh, I guess there's more. I think the rest of these, like, small ones came in that washi set, too. So there's those. And then these three. I think those all came in the same set. And then he also got me these two washies. One just has numbers. And one has, like, little cute sea critters on it. And then... I need to like put this over here or something. These are some stamp stickers. Super cute. So they're just like world travel stamp stickers. They are so cute. I love them. So the next thing I'm going to show you after this stack, um, all of these came with it, I think probably as just like a bundle thing, um, but it came with some heart stickers, some stars, and two sheets of these um, corner stickers, um, a sheet of these up, like big circle stickers. Um, some up themed postcards. They're so cute. I actually haven't ever seen up all the way through, which I know is kind of crazy, but so those are super cute. And then it came with these, which I think are to, to make like little 3D characters from up like the old man and the kid um I don't know that I'll actually put these together I might just use them as ephemera or something and then he got me this so I have if you've seen my um like notebook collection or whatever I have this one. This is the Disney one. Like this is the one that's actually from Disney. Which is really cool because like these things are like actually taped in here. It's not just printed on there. Like these are actually taped in. I think that's cute and so is this. But obviously very different than that. 
and I was worried at first when I first opened it. I was like, is this gonna be the same thing? But it's not, it's not the same thing. First of all, these are like fabric vinyl -y letters that have been like glued on here or something. And the pages inside are completely different. Um, these are all very like vintage -y looking. Um, and yeah, so it's completely different, which makes me happy because I don't have like a repeat thing, but it's great because this is going to be good for scrapbooking. So this is what my husband got me to scrapbook our little mini vacation. And then there's a couple more things if I can get to them. Um, these little these like little tapes yeah they're like clear it's like clear tape but it's got um like a lace pattern on it and then he got me this um graphic 45 collection this is the what is it called safari adventure and it looks super stinking cute he was like, I really just got it for the embellishments. I'm like, the paper is super cute. I'm so excited. Um, I'm not going to open this right now because I just have so much stuff all over the place right now. But yeah, that is everything that I got uh, for my birthday. All the crafty stuff at least. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little peek into my birthday experience I guess I don't know um but anyway if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time bye